nine time women afcon champions the nigerian super falcons take on cameroon here in the quarterfinal game for a chance to meet possibly the hosts morocco who will win it who will go on to face the atlas lionesses in the semi-final and qualify for the women's world cup 2023 in Australia and New Zealand. We have a look at the highlights. Cameroon versus Nigeria. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. A global contest played out. Opponents and book a place in the final four of this. Some gloss to their South Africa, the uh, kickoff. Changes from the team at the start. This titanic clash is a former international captain. She captained Wanyana Banyana in years gone by. Just to see, it's like uh, Joya just getting winded. Which will include a bit of speed. It's an early challenge from Zana, and she's uh, won the feet of all forward. She is among the more creative players in this midfield role for Cameroon. We'll talk about the midfield in just a moment. Antibade looks to link up FV play at uh, Kiryat Gat in Israel together. Bawu plays with Gift Monday at Bayelsa. They are well familiar with one another on personal levels as well as Enjoya got into that 18 yard area but ultimately loses that possession conceding the free kick here. And she is dangerous when she gets into the scoring mode and she's found her scoring shoes in Italy recently as well but clear foul on Ushebe. He's uh, helped that ball away convincingly as well. Here's Gabriela Budiongeri. Under a little pressure on that far side is Francisco Ortega down. Okobi. Delivery in. Looks delicious and inviting. From uh, Unamunu. Here's Ortega. Lovely pass out wide. Here's Unamunu. Looks to deliver. Ajibade is inside that area, but it's just beyond her. Great pace from Ajibade to keep that ball in play, not once but twice. Zana is battling hard against her. This is genuinely a physical battle here. Cut out by Johnson as she clears for the throw in on the near side. And look at this from Ajibade, keeping the ball in play twice brilliantly with her speed. Absolutely brilliant. Very strong to stay on her feet as well, to really try and recycle the ball back into the 18 yard box. Of concern, though, is Nigeria go on the uh, charge? There's going to be Okobi to deliver again. This time it's a floated ball toward the back post. Here's a chance for Nigeria, but it's uh, fluffed by Oale. Player of the match. Here's Ordega. Picks up on the ball. Okobi wants it back. Looks for the return ball. Ordega down that far flank. She gets around the outside of Awona, and it's. Francisco Ordega is dropping back in an attempt to uh, block her CSKA teammates and that's going to be a foul. Ordega a little too enthusiastic about trying to win that ball back. And really assist in, in, in defending these two. 2012 in Equatorial Guinea. Ball down that far flank and Gabriela Buriungene has kept that ball in play. Delivery to come here. Zara and Joya was waiting for that. We might have come the way here of Abamu looks to flick that ball back into the path of either one of her teammates who were Okobi floated ball toward the back post. The header was inviting. Certainly it's not cleared at the moment. And Anji Bawu eventually cuts out the Nigerian chance. The Nigerian throw in. But this the earlier attempt, Amanda. Another well floated delivery in that 18 yard box. Blanche just getting a second bite to it, really trying to uh, locate Onumunu. Knocked it into the path of Nzana here unwittingly and the line playing for Nigeria as well. Plumter, who did human biology degree, and uh, Onumunu as well. Here she is, Onumunu looking to run onto the end. Mburu looking to challenge Ajibade. Now Onumunu running onto this. She's got the speed. She's genuinely got speed, but she's got no support. Ajibade is charging forward. Onumunu trying to hold this ball up. Estelle Johnson is on her. The two Gotham FC players up against one another, and Johnson has won this battle. All the players that in his eyes, they are the best. Can they prove it on the pitch here against Nigeria? The eternal foe. Rival Johnson with a clearance only as far as Ordego gets a shot in here. It's ricochets off Awona. Long range shot on the follow up is powerful by in there, but it's delivery in and 
somehow that has managed to prove a little more dangerous looking than it needed to be for Ka Because someone needs to be tracking her. This is a decent ball forward, Gabriela Budiongene using her pace. Abam waits centrally here, Budiongene looks to go down, play on, says referee Makalima, fair challenge. Truly magnificent in midfield today. Some key touches, Odega. On the end of this ball, uses her pace to go around Awana, and now the recovery on for Cameroon. It's a great recovery from Dabda as well, and she's going to win the free kick against Odega. Second half starting with a fair intensity as well. Yep, we spoke about <clears throat> just really maintaining the tempo of the game, the consistency, but the most important. Nigeria, Ajibade, looking for a shot at goal, and she's whipped that ball in towards the danger area, but she's hit so much curl on that. And it's curl, it's another effort from Nigeria, but yet another one that's off target, but look at the curl. She thought she'd catch the goalkeeper unawares. I'll tell you with that amount of curl, you can catch goalkeepers unawares if that's on target. Ajibade <laughs> scored twice already in this tournament. Consolation goal against South Africa and then in the 4-0 win over Burundi. That's Unamunu. Plumped her. Is there a cutback to content and making sure they clear heights and distance? But the follow-through is, is equally important. Zaburiongene cuts back. Great shot here from Zaburiongene. Great chance at least. It was woefully off target. Look at the skill. Gets a chance to go forward. The more she is charging forward, making not just brief forays but deep forays into Nigerian territory, and then tracking back to help out defensively. But what a run from Okobi here. Onumonu, Ajibane! Nigeria have opened the scoring! It was coming! And champions find a way! Nigeria are proving their pedigree with the goal early on in this second half. We spoke about the individual brilliance that will have to really surface as Okobi just initiates that move again, a blistering move, takes on one or two, three players. When there's no way, recycle the ball, Perfectly, perfectly executed all round for the Nigerians. Absolutely superb. What a delivery from Onumonu. And Ajibade there to finish. What a finish. Only this off the ball, Ajibade, as this ball is whipped in and fairly the clearance. Ajibade picks out Alozi, who looks to go on a charging run here. Down she goes. But away by Onomiebi again. It's come here the way of Gabriela again. He looks to unleash the snapshot and does. But drags her effort. Several players immediately around her. And she's still able to get the shot away. Through the legs of Ushebe as well. Ajibade, they're just being the guilty party. Cameroon need to respond. Uh, deny Cameroon passage. As you call it, effectively taking one for the team. This is in behind Unomi Ebin. Now, Joya charging forward. Down she goes, but referee Makan. Attempt of their own. This is the previous effort. A muted penalty appeal from Cameroon. Now with the captain's armband, it was Budiongene having been replaced. The Nigerian Super Falcons motor on into the semi-final and eventually qualify for the Women's World Cup. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.